Generally, remakes or reboots tend to suck. And not only in anime, video games and movies have the same problem, but occasionally some shows do make good remakes. Space Battleship Yamato is one of those few successful remakes. It's a 2012 remake of the original Space Battleship Yamato series that aired in 1974. The show updated the visuals, character designs and certain aspects of the story, but stayed true to the original's classic style. The show was directed by Yutaka Izabuchi and Akihiro Inomoto, who both had experience working with space-based shows. So did the show do the original any justice? Did it create its own style? Should it have done anything different? I'll be discussing this and more in my review of Space Battleship Yamato 2199. The story of Yamato is pretty simple. The ship, the Yamato, and its crew are sent across the galaxy to find certain objects that will help restore the dying planet Earth. The majority of the anime takes place on board the ship, giving the viewer a close attachment to the ship and the characters who run it. During the journey, they run into a number of enemies and problems that they have to overcome to progress. This might sound rather generic, but the types of enemies and methods of overcoming said enemies are all exciting and fresh. Since this is a remake of an anime from the 70s, the story has a very retro feel in the way it's told. You have the main story with the main protagonists and the main antagonists, but you also get separate episodes where other characters and plot points are developed. Because the ship is travelling a long distance each episode, this quick change of story feels quite natural, unlike many newer shows that just jump between the main story and filler stories. But these extra episodes don't take up much of the series, so the main story gets the majority of the time. Various styles were used in these episodes. Styles taken from episodic type shows and styles taken from sci-fi movies. It was quite interesting how they managed to successfully use different styles without feeling too random. The episodes all blended really well and created a nice pacing throughout the show. So the main threat for the crew was the opposing race, the Gamillas. They were a race living on another planet with civilians and a complex political hierarchy. The great thing about them is that despite being the antagonists of the show, there are so many different characters with different morals and objectives. We find out that many of them aren't actually evil at all, and they just want the best for their people. Even the so-called evil characters are just clouded by Earth's propaganda and presumptions. Despite being at war, the people of Earth and the Gamillas have very little understanding of each other. The complex set of characters used to create the antagonists works really well and we get a great look into the enemy. Because of the variety of characters, we get a great variety of battles between the two sides. This means the show never gets boring or repetitive. Battles were always fresh and interesting. At some points it did seem a little bit unrealistic how the Yamato managed to beat all their opponents, but for the most part they managed to pull off great tactics and unexpected twists for the Yamato to win or progress. I think the best thing about the story is its classic anime feel. It really felt like I was watching a classic 80s or 70s anime show, not just a remake. They also added their own twist on the classic style, so it felt fresh. Overall, I think they've done a brilliant job of recreating a classic story in a modern way without losing its original charm. Space Battleship Yamato has a really great range of characters. There's a massive amount of characters on board the Yamato and an equally large cast of enemies. Somehow they managed to evenly develop each character, giving the side characters and main characters a lot of time to develop and create attachments with the viewers. The main cast were particularly entertaining. The characters had a variety of different styles and personalities. We have newbie characters who were just learning about the military and more experienced characters. They all connected to create a very nice dynamic. Like I said earlier, the antagonist characters created a really enjoyable opposition. Many of the Gamilla commanders were developed in depth and were shown their contrasting philosophies. Some wanted power, some were fueled by greed, and some just wanted to save their people. I say antagonists, but many of the Gamillas weren't portrayed as evil characters, just similar characters on different sides of the fence. I like the style of developing characters. The usual bad guy versus good guy gets really boring and predictable. Shows in the 70s and 80s like Legend of the Galactic Heroes tended to present both sides as equal instead of favouring one or the other. Yamato done this really well. The characters of Space Battleship Yamato have to be one of my favourite sets of characters. There were so many different types of characters that all came together to create an amazing cast. The animation for this series was quite interesting. They used quite retro designs in a modern way. The quality of animation was very fluid and the backgrounds were very nicely done. 
There were a few drops in animation quality, but that's to be expected. For the most part, the quality remained very solid. But what really caught my eye was the great use of 3D animation. They used this to animate many of the spaceship scenes throughout the series. Normally 3D animation doesn't work well, it tends to not blend that well with 2D animation. But since they used 3D animation and 2D animation separately, it never really had a chance to mix together, so it ended up working really well. Much like the story, I love how they created a modern interpretation of a classic 70s art style. It worked very well with the show's feel. The soundtrack, composed by Akira Miyagawa, was absolutely magnificent. It consisted of big, orchestral pieces that really put the icing on the cake for this anime. The OST has a massive variation of epic soundtracks, creating an amazing atmosphere. Certain tracks in the OST made scenes seem like they were the most important event in history, and really helped with the more emotional scenes near the end. The opening really sums up the music for this show. It's big, it's epic, and the vocals are amazing. It really gave the show a great military feel. So did Space Battleship Yamato work well as a remake of a classic anime show? Yes. I think they've done a great job of creating a new and fresh anime series while also staying true to the original series. Sure they had to do some modern updates with the story and style, but overall it felt like a really authentic show. This is a great show for those looking to get their first taste of a 70s anime without having to get used to the old animation and for people who want to reminisce about the 70s with a brand new show. It really does appeal to a large audience. What's also great about this is you don't have to go back and watch anything before you watch this series. It stands as its own entity. So that was my review of Space Battleship Yamato. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button and share the video around. And if you want to watch more of my videos, you can click subscribe or any of the on-screen links. Thank you very much for watching.